Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, I am sure that most of you are already aware that Benin City is currently hot. As a matter of fact, the clash that is going on in Benin City actually started on Thursday last week between Supreme Area Confraternity and Supreme Vikings Confraternity. And right now as we speak, it has already involved black ass. So a lot of people actually think that this confraternity war started from Delta State and spilled over to Benin City, which is very far from the truth. The truth is that what is currently going on in Benin City has nothing to do with what is currently going on in Delta State. So in this video, I am going to explain to you guys what actually caused this confraternity war between these two groups, how the Black Ass members got involved, and we will also speak about the people that we have brought down, who they are, and the people that brought them down. So without wasting any of your time, let's dive into the video. Now, what actually caused this confraternity clash started two years ago from a young man who is popularly known as Boye. Now, Boye is said to be a member of Vikings and he was very popular. So, two years ago, it is said that Boye got missing and till today, he has not been found. So, according to the story of what happened, Boye was picked by the Edo State Vigilante, which are said to be members of Eye. After this young man was arrested, the members of Vikings became very worried and they tried to bail him out. So, the Vigilantes told Vikings members that Boye was actually arrested by the Nigerian police force, that he was caught in armed robbery. So, it is said that Vikings members tried as much as possible to see if they could release him. They tried to go to the police station but they couldn't assess any way to get Boye and at the end of the day they got an information from a reliable source according to the story that Boye has already been brought down that he was actually arrested by the same set of vigilantes which are said to be members of AA but up to now they said that the young man did nothing that the young man was brought down for no reason and this is according to ways on the streets everything that I just explained happened two years ago so on Thursday last week, the Vikings members decided to retaliate for what happened that two years ago. So they brought down the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen by the name of Julius in a community called Ikai around Sapele Road right there in Benin City. And it is said that after they brought this young man down, the Vikings members that went to bring the young man down, they started shouting like black ass members. And after this happened, area members were confused because there was no war in Benin City and they did not know the people that actually pulled the heat. Now there was a voice note that went viral that actually stated that it was Vikings members that pulled the heat and was trying to tell their members to be conscious to not go out and be walking anyhow up and down because their members just pull heat in this community called Ekai. But the problem was that AI members decided to pull a hit on black ass members. And this also went viral that AI members are trying to pull a hit. So black ass members heard about this and they called the leaders of AA, told them that they really don't have any problem with AA. They didn't pull a hit on AI members, that AI members should try to find out what really happened before they pull a hit. And it is said that AI members did their investigation and they actually find out that it was Vikings members that pulled a hit on Julius. So on Saturday evening, AI members decided to retaliate. And by this time, it has already spread all over Benin City that there is a tension between AA and Vikings. So everyone was actually hiding their head. No one was walking anyhow up and down. So what AI members did was that they called a young man who is a member of Vikings by the name of Arizona to bring them weed. Now the young man by the name of Arizona is said to be a member of Vikings and he sells weed. So the area members called him to bring weed for them to buy in Sapele Road Bypass in Freetown Hotel. So the young man wasn't suspecting anything. So he went with the weed that he wanted to sell for them. And when he got there, they brought him down as a retaliation. And that was on Saturday night. So after this happened, Vikings members got pissed. And on Sunday morning in Sapele Road, in a junction by the name of Ere Diawa, 
the Vikings members pulled a hit on two members of AA and when they fired at the young man, boom boom boom, one of the young men ran away. He escaped with some bullet injuries while the other young man was brought down that very morning on Sunday. Now the young men that pulled the hit on the AA members on Sunday morning, they were three in numbers. And after they pulled the heat, they were stopped by some security officers. And one of the young men that went for the heat escaped. And two other young men were caught. And on the phone that was seen with the young man, the police saw everything, text messages, WhatsApp message stating that the young men want to go for a hit. So the police actually saw this with the two Vikings members that was arrested and one of the young men escaped. Now after this happened, in the afternoon of Sunday, the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen by the name of IK was brought down in Ere Diawa. Now this young man is said to be a member of Black Ass and the group that brought him down it's kind of confusing a lot of people believe that he was brought down by some AA members while other people believe that he was brought down by some Vikings members and after this young man was brought down automatically black ass members became very angry because what is currently on ground really don't consign the members of black ass and this is the current situation of what is going on in Benin city i know there are lots of voice messages saying that they brought people down here and there and that is really not factual because Benin city is a very busy city you cannot break someone down and hide it if you bring someone down in Benin city everyone is definitely going to know and like i always said i pray for god to give the young men that are involved in this clash wisdom for them to be able to overcome this and try to make peace because peace is the only way forward anyway guys you are watching nigerian view